Welcome everybody, or as they say here in Uganda. I'm Jacob, and with me is Tria, and at the moment we are located just south of the equator at El Cambio Academy, a football academy in Uganda. In this podcast, we are going to invite you into the universe of El Cambio Academy, and in collaboration with the children and the staff of the academy, we will try to outline the history of El Cambio and the ideas and values behind it. My name is Thomas. I'm from Denmark. I'm 39 years old, and I've lived my most of my life in Denmark. In the last five years, I've been living in Uganda. This is Thomas, the founder and director of El Cambio Academy, who, as you might feel yourself, is extremely passionate about El Cambio Academy. I've ever since uh, I was a kid thought that we need to change something in football where you can combine playing football at a high level where you're safe and loved at the same time. <laughs> so this was something that was really dear to me that I could create something like that. Really interesting to hear about the ideas and thoughts behind the academy from the director himself. But how do the children really feel at the academy? You know what? I think we should ask Koma, who is 12 years old and one of the 37 students at El Cambio. I feel good with the members at El Cambio Academy because here we are family, we help each other and, and El Cambio is a good place for me to be here. Another key person for Kuma and his co-students is Joyce, who has been a part of El Cambio ever since the very beginning. Just like Thomas, Joyce points out the importance of creating a safe environment for the children at the academy. We want to make sure that they are raised up in an environment where they feel safe, where they feel like it's okay to make a mistake. So the children from El Cambio are raised in a very safe environment where they are taught that making mistakes is human. But how does El Cambio deal with making mistakes? You don't just, you know, sit around and be like, okay, I've made a mistake and uh, this is how we do it. No, you take, you make a mistake, it is fine, but you also ha- take responsibility. And also when they do something right, we appreciate them and applaud, ap- applaud them for everything they are doing. So, Jacob, I think you could say that El Cambio has a pretty clear-cut way of how they want to raise the children with strong and healthy values. Yeah, exactly, Tyr. Okay, so far, so good. But speaking of the very beginning, it would be obvious to talk to Elvis, who was the very first student at El Cambio Academy. My name is Opakroth Elvis. I'm 14 years old, and I come from Kampala. Being the first player at El Cambio was an emotional feeling for me. Because El Cambio is looking for quality players all over Uganda. And I was very proud and happy of myself that I was the first. Now you have met Elvis, who is from Kampala and who is a proud student at El Cambio. When Elvis looks back on the opening ceremony, where he, alongside Thomas, cut off the blue ribbon to mark the beginning of El Cambio, Elvis' smile turns even bigger. Yes, and we are sure that you listeners can feel the joy and proudness in Elvis' voice. That was a huge day, happy day, enjoyable day in my life. Because that day was the day to mark the starting of the academy, the starting of my hard work. We had a lot of fun. Thomas was there and Joyce, some of our parents, me and Thomas coat a scissor and a blue ribbon and we cut it. So I felt happy that now it's time to fight whatever challenge and whatever success that we shall face in life. So, El Cambio Academy launched in September 2018, 
and Elvis could now feel the motivation and desire to work hard. But to be able to do so, you have to feel safe and secure in a friendly environment. And El Cambio is just such a place, one big family. It's a place where you have a lot of love because everyone is loved in El Cambio and uh, we make sure that everyone feels important. And we try to make sure that there is mutual respect for everyone because that's the only way we can grow. And it's also a place where we want our you know, students, our children to develop. So to sum up, to develop as a footballer, you have to be respected and you need to understand the value of respect. Immaculate is one of the seven girls at the academy and she has something to say about this. It's good and funny uh, to be with my friends because we play some interesting games and I feel like I'm in a family. So Immaculate likes to hang out with her friends when she has time off at the academy. And what about Elvis? When I am off at the academy, I like to listen to music because I like music. I like to watch some football videos, mostly my inspirational Lionel Messi. I like the thing the things he does in the pitch. Elvis definitely has an unserious side as well, and he knows just that. I always like to have fun, so I like disturbing my teammates. Sometimes they get angry, but I try to make them more angry, (laughs) but not having any bad consequence. So there's always a joyful atmosphere at the academy, and just that is very important to Thomas. Just listen why. So for me, coming in the morning, leaving in the afternoon, giving hugs, telling them that I love them, listening to them, showing them respect, it's very important for them to feel like acknowledged and worth something in life. So El Cambio is this place full of joy and love and love. But how is it really like to spend every single day with your friends? Let's hear from Hamza. Whenever we are very close, then we might get to know how to solve problems quickly. Here I feel more loved and I I feel that I belong here. It's so life-affirming to hear those words from Hamza. And now back to Elvis. We are loving to each other. We are sharing. We are directing each other to do the right thing. And at the same time, we are fighting to be successful in future, to become the future leaders of Africa, but not only Africa, but also the entire world. Wow, what an ending to our first episode. In the next episode, we will tell you a lot more about El Cambio's dreams to create Africa's and even the world's future leaders through football, education and character. And if you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to follow us in the next episode. So now it's just left for me and Jacob and of course all the children to say... Thank you for listening!